folks. Uh, well, I told you last night she cut my water off. Well, she cut the, because you know that was illegal. You know, she can't cut water off to one person without cutting it off in the whole building. So you know that was illegal. So she knows that, especially since she's still getting money from housing. So she's getting the major portion of her rent. But she cut the cold water off back on, but she left the hot water off in the kitchen. No hot water in the kitchen, just the cold water. And you see that's barely coming on. Just the cold water. And, uh, now the reason that I was getting water at the bathroom in the first place is because the water, the cold water and the hot water in the kitchen was the main source that was contaminated. So she's gonna try to make me drink that contaminated water anyway. I couldn't water off in the bathroom where I was getting my water And force me to drink it out of that contaminated faucet. Really? So, now you're going to try to force me to drink poison? Because remember I told you before that mysteriously all of my gloves, rubber gloves that I tried to use to wash dishes and, uh, 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 Use this water mysteriously had holes in them. About 15 different pair of them yellow and pink gloves wind up with holes in them. So I was forced to put my hands in this water here if I want to wash dishes. And my hands swelled up. And whatever they put in my carpet, my feet swelled up. So now, you're going to try to force me to drink this water or use this water? When you saw all that powder in the uh, pot, that was, that was nothing but plain water. And you see all that white powder, which I think was either cyanide or arsenic. <sighs> with either cyanide or arsenic because cyanide is a kind of a carcinogenic it causes cancer and that's what most of the people that's been around her been dying of is cancer so you're going to force me to drink narrow me down to water one source of water to get Now, uh, in the video that I made showing that pot where the stuff was in it, one guy um, made a comment that the, the cyanide buildup or whatever that powder reception is, is probably greater in the hot water. <sighs> in the hot water heater because it builds up and destroys the inner workings. So... No hot water, and you guys, somebody can probably come in here and test that water heater to see what kind of poisons they're using through their hot water heater. So now I'm just forced to use this water. So there's no, really no way, even if I boil it, all that white powder is going to be. And you saw the other stuff look like a um, uh, parasite, the honeycomb shaped stuff. Well, let's see how this works out for them. Because God is not going to let them turn me down to only one source of them, me drinking the water that they want me to have. Really. 
no water in the bathroom, period. I can't even get water to wash up for a few times that I want to take a chance on using it or to flush the toilet. Because this was the safest water. This water was all right. But the water in the tub was the safest. Well. Oh. <sighs> you guys, I'm sorry. I'm not going to worry about it. I am going to. Uh, Cars, new cars sitting outside my window. There's nobody there. There, I don't know why this car is sitting there, and it's been there every day. Sometimes it just sits out there with the lights on, but it does move since I've been home. So, and I made videos before in the past of how they would sit cars outside my house and not move them. In fact. I think I told you that one sit out there for about 45 days and I had to call the sheriff's department and they didn't want to move it. So, this one's been sitting now. I'm going to go out later because um, let's see what the license plate is. If there are any license plates. But we know I know. Anytime they just sit a car out there, and that's when you target an individual. Anytime they just sit a car out there and it doesn't move, they have a uh, arterial motive. <sighs> so, <sighs> I, I'm going to go back to sleep. I had a good. Uh, time at my brother's house uh, last night where I finally was able to do some laundry at my brother's house and uh, fix the dressing. So I'm looking forward to going over there today and eating some good food. Love you guys. Let's be thankful for what God... <sighs> They do work. Let's be thankful for what God do provide for us because even with me, I think there are people worse off than I am. So I'm blessed and I give thanks for whatever God does for me. Love you guys. Bye-bye.